Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to carve your very own Joey Graceffa jack-o'-lantern. Or, should I say, Joey Lantern. Here is the finished result, it turned out pretty awesome. This project took about two and a half hours from start to finish, so let's get to it. Okay, first things first, supplies. Get a pen and a paper, here is what you're going to need. Okay, step one is to have a cousin who is a very, very good pumpkin carver. <laughs> Just kidding, uh, but I am lucky enough to have that. This is my cousin Matt, and he's really, really good. So, step one is to cut a hole in the top or bottom of your pumpkin and scoop out all the guts. Now, I've been told that you're supposed to save the seeds and roast them with some salt in the oven for a delicious snack. Sadly, we did not do that, but if you want to go ahead, now is the time where you would pick out all of the pumpkin seeds. After you've scooped out all the guts, what you want to do is take the scraper that was in your pumpkin carving kit and actually scrape along the wall of the pumpkin that you're going to be putting your pattern on from the inside. And what this is going to do is thin the wall so that when you place the light in your pumpkin, the pattern shows up um, even more bolder. After you've done that, you're going to want to tape the pattern onto your pumpkin. After your pattern is taped onto your pumpkin, you're going to want to take either a push pin, or we use the safety pin, but a push pin would even work better, and poke holes along the shape of your pattern. And you're basically transferring your pattern onto your pumpkin so that when you peel the pattern off, you'll be able to see where you need to carve. Okay, so now for the carving. Now, this is the part that I'm the least clear on. Matt basically has had a lot of practice at this. So what I wanna say is if it doesn't turn out perfectly, that's okay. It's gonna take a couple of tries before you really get the hang of this. You want to basically shave off a thin layer of the top of the pumpkin, the orange part, so you can see the flesh underneath, for part of your pattern and then for other parts of your pattern you can go all the way through the pumpkin and then obviously you want to leave some parts of it blank um, again I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot of direction in how to do this but uh, you know basically it's just practice makes perfect and you'll get it eventually okay so when you're done you just stand the pumpkin up put a light in it and voila you step back and admire the gorgeous onioness of the Joey Graceffa jack-o-lantern Joey lantern all right guys that's it if you try this I really want to see the photos so tweet them to me at Stacy says and please make sure to give this video a thumbs up that would mean so much to me I hope you really really enjoyed it and I hope that you try it for Halloween this year have a really really happy Halloween guys bye